like a real person. I remember going oh. to dinner with my mom and dad, and I felt like I was important and I was valued, yeah. and that I could get married, right? It does. It says something like very important citizen in this country. to the community to have uh, people at this level yeah. talking about it in such a public yeah. forum. So Absolutely. thank you very yeah. much See for it to be able to do it. personal Representation story. matters. <laughs> yes. We're going to turn now to our arts beat. So much going on on stage in October that I thought we would take a few minutes, Melvin, to touch on some of them. And we're going to start in Hollywood at the Pantages Theater. Now, the musical Anastasia opened on Tuesday night. There's, of course, this is the stage musical adaptation from the animated film from the 90s. They had a big red carpet on Tuesday, and the whole creative team from the Broadway show was there, including Lynn Ahrens and Stephen Flaherty, who wrote the music and the lyrics. I had a chance to speak to them, and, and they told me about a recent opportunity that they had to travel to Russia, where the show takes place, and they got to visit some of the sites that they wrote about in the musical. We recently had a trip to Russia to do some work over there and we were able to see so many of the actual locations that are uh, in the musical. The secret theater in the palace and the, the Yusupov Palace and uh, the, the Winter Palace, uh, which is now the Hermitage. We're actually skipping along a beautiful stone pathway going, you were born in a palace by the sea. And we were there at the palace by the sea and we were singing, um, we tiptoed off to Peterhof to have a royal fling. We were at the Peterhof Palace and it was, it was quite quite wonderful. You know, it looked like the set of our show. That was the surprise. That's and can awesome. you imagine how amazing that is? They worked on this for <laughs> yeah. so long and then they're, you know, they're, they're in those places singing their own oh lyrics. Gosh. And of course, you know, Aaron's and Flaherty, that's Ragtime, the great Ragtime, that's Once on This Island, which I love. Mm -hmm. So, okay, this was a movie yes. that was, you know, uh, adapted into a musical. They wrote the music, right, and lyrics for the movie. Years and years and years ago. But had to revisit that. Yeah. So what was that like, I right, bringing it to the stage? If that was hard, because only some of the songs made it into the musical. They had to write a lot of additional songs and a lot of additional musical for uh, music for the musical. Lynn said it was really hard. She said it was like killing your baby. You had to say, oh, these are some songs that we love, but they're not going to make it in. And Stephen said, it was easy. It was like visiting an old friend. So I, love I loved it. that they worked so close sure. together, but they had totally different takes. Yeah, yeah, so great. Oh my gosh. And also I want to mention Light in the Piazza. That's yeah. opening this Saturday at the LA Opera. Um, that is a production that's coming straight from London. That's opening here. Some huge names. Renee Fleming um, and Brian Stokes Mitchell, if you love Broadway or opera, and as someone who has some young girls at home, <laughs> Dove Cameron yeah. is in it. She practically lives in my living room. And so to see the stars of this cast performing this really beautiful and interesting work. I don't know if you're familiar with Light in the Piazza. Yes, I am. That's going to be there uh, until the 20th, and it, again, it opens wow. this Saturday. It, and they do such beautiful work, the yes. LA Opera. Their sets are always extraordinary. Yes. And to be able to hear Renee Fleming, yes. the great Renee Fleming, and also Brian Stokes Mitchell, we were talking oh, before coming on yes. this morning. His speaking Just voice speaking. is I was glorious. At rehearsal yesterday. I'm not even sure I heard him <laughs> sing, but when he started speaking and speaking in Italian, mm. oh my gosh, it was swoon worthy. Yes, oh for my gosh. sure. So much to <laughs> sing. What else? Well, I saw it. It's mm -hmm. a musical parody that's playing at Rockwell Table and Stage. It's an adaptation or a parody of the movies. I had never seen the movies. I've never read the book. There you can see the creepy clown. Yeah. Um, but I will tell you, it was very enjoyable even if you don't know the source material. They do some really great stuff at Rockwell Table and Stage. I've done actually a couple shows there myself. But you they have a do, friend in this. And I have a friend, Sterling Suleiman, shout out to you. Um, <laughs> but also, you know, they did like uh, adaptation of Mean Girls, yep. of A League of Their Own. Yeah. So they do a they lot do of really stuff. great things. Yep. All right, so everybody, thank you so much on. for that. We'll be back.